new addition to Purdue's campus is expected to save the university money and help students learn at the same time. News Channel 18's Aaron Leedy is here tonight with more on new electric vehicle charging stations. Aaron? Jeff, as manufacturers develop cars that run more on electricity and less on fuel, more people will need a place to charge their car. And for General Electric, Purdue was the perfect place to install charging stations for a variety of reasons. It looks a lot like a gas pump, but actually it's just the opposite. General Electric unveiled the first of 10 electric vehicle charging stations to be set up at Purdue University. Chevrolet's new Volt, a gas electric car that can go about 40 miles without using fuel, was on hand to demonstrate how it works. Chief Executive Officer of GE's Energy Industrial Solution, Luis Ramirez, says Purdue's reputation as a top engineering school is one reason the stations will be on campus. Purdue is one of the universities that has a leading engineering school uh, and it's actually uh, embarking on this journey with us to develop electric vehicle ecosystem technologies and uh, work together not only to develop it but also to test those technologies. Students at Purdue are also expected to benefit from the charging stations through coursework and hands-on labs built around the charging stations technology. We have a new electric vehicle laboratory that's coming in place where students will learn uh, the uh, technologies that are sort of under the hood that is there and be able to do it in a hands-on, very practical way. GE's charging stations won't specifically be for Chevrolet's Volt. They're designed to be compatible with all vehicles, no matter who develops them. It's absolutely a step in the right direction. It's very cool to see everything coming together. Um, for example, the electric vehicle club, I have a motorcycle that's electric. We have a, a Porsche that's electric, a couple other cars as well. And it's so cool to see the university getting behind something like this. And the remaining nine stations will be installed within the next few weeks, and more could be added depending upon usage. No word yet if Purdue will charge for the electricity. As for the Volt, it's being tested in major markets and is expected to be sold in Lafayette in about a year. Aaron Leedy, News Channel 18.